All that outdoor dining that a lot of us have been enjoying isn't necessary now that the state has officially reopened. In fact, some restaurant owners say that their customers liked it very much and they would like to continue. But as NBC4's Vicki Vargas now reports, they may have to start paying for the outdoor space that they've been using. In Laguna Beach, the city spent nearly half a million dollars to close off Lower Forest Avenue. City officials believe the investment brought more tourists to the seaside town during the pandemic. The promenade, as it's known, opened June 15th of 2020. One year later, not everyone believes it should continue as is. We used to have people parking, driving through, energy going, going to the beach, going to the stores. So it's very quiet now during in the morning. The net loss, 48 parking spots, considered gold in a busy beachside town. The California Coastal Commission has given the city until 2024 to find more parking if it decides to keep this area pedestrian friendly. Looking ahead, Mayor Pro Tem Sue Kempf says restaurant owners may also have to pay for the pavement they're using for outdoor dining. We put that in there to kind of help us get through the pandemic and kind of bring the town alive, which I think worked, but they're gonna to have to pay a rent or lease expense because it's a it's a benefit the city is giving, gave during COVID, but we don't, we don't expect that to continue. The pavement under these outdoor dining venues already has a price tag. The city of San Clemente is charging $200 a month per parking spot to each restaurant owner. The so-called terraces are dotted along Del Mar Avenue in front of places like Rancho Capistrano Winery, where we found the Caleri's enjoying an afternoon respite. We go to lunch pretty much three, four times a week, so we always mix them up. So the outside's nice. The owner says by covering the parking spots, he has doubled the number of people he can serve. Right now, both cities are debating whether these post-pandemic places will be permanent. In San Clemente, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.